Hey guys, today I've got for you the Zombie Army 131 Gas Revolver. That's quite got a nice uh, logo net to it actually. So, let's open the box up. So inside you get your instruction manual. I'm um, guessing there's well, nothing under there. And inside you've got your shells that you load in and some BBs. And I'll show you how to load this in a second. But here's the gun. Comes with a barrel sock. So, like a revolver, this is quite big. Cock it back, you file out, or you just pull the trigger. And you see, that does rotate as well. To pop it out, all you do is pull this back and push. Sorry, you push it forward and push it out. You see, this is a six shot revolver. To eject the shells, you just push this metal bar and it just pops them out a little bit so you can get hold of them. Uh, as I said, this is green gas. This is the gas goes into the bottom of the gun here. So that's, uh, I'm going to show you how to load this up, and then we'll put it through the chronograph. See you in a second, guys. So I'm going to load up the shells that come with it. So on the back of them, you've got a rubber O-ring, and you just literally push it in. That's loaded. It's just the same for all of them. Now, as I said, this is a six-shot revolver, so I've only pulled out six shells, and it's one BB per shell. As you can see, it's nice and easy. Obviously, you can do it easier with a speed loader, but that is your choice. I quite like loading these up by hand. Now, these are the plastic shells it comes with. You can buy these metal shells, which are really nice. They're quite heavy as well. Let's get one out so I can show you better. Now, you see, there's two of them side by side. The metal ones do look nice. They feel nice as well. They are uh, an extra. But plastic ones do the same job at the end of the day. But the metal shells are there if you want that extra little bit. So to load the gun up, as I showed you, we've already loaded the shells up. What I might actually do, put, leave one of them out. Let's have a little test. See if the metal shells give you any more FPS. So I've got one in there. Right, so here we go, guys. You simply now... Try not to drop them on the floor. You just have to plop them in. All right, where's that one? Plastic one, and then the metal one. Now I'm going to fire the metal one second, I think. So, oh, or not. All right, so the metal one is there. There's the plastic ones you can see down there, but obviously I don't recommend doing that because uh, you are looking down a gun of a loaded barrel. So, first shell should be the plastic one. Two hundred and two. That was with a plastic. Let's try the metal. It's not really any difference between the FPSs, I mean, it's slowly going up. Uh, probably just temperature for the magazine. And I'm out. And to unload, pull it out, put it up, and you can just dump them into your hands. Great. If you want to play a bit of Russian roulette with this, don't recommend that though. Or uh, if you want to have a game of one shot, one kill. And it is. Pretty accurate. So if you want to see more guns like this guys, don't forget to check the link in the description below. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Dominic guys. Who doesn't love a revolver pistol? Makes you feel like a cowboy. So I approve this gun.